So I'm Linda Ball, I'm a Professor of Health Policy at the University of Stirling and I also chair Cancer Research UK's Tobacco Advisory Group. And we're here at the NCRI conference in Liverpool and we've got a session this afternoon talking about the end game for tobacco in the UK. We've made huge progress at reducing smoking in this country. Um, we've reduced the rates of smoking by about 50% in the last few decades, but we still have one in five adults who smoke. And we know that smoking is the leading preventable cause of cancer. It's responsible for about one in four cancer deaths. So many countries, have, a number of countries in the world have now set targets to reduce smoking to less than 5%. And that's what we need to be moving towards in the UK. Scotland's already set a target, Ireland's done that. And our session will focus on what we can do in that area. And there's really three things. The first thing is that over 200,000 young people still start smoking every year in the UK. So we need to look at prevention policies and interventions. And a key one there is the plain packaging of cigarettes. The second thing is that, of course, the uh, smoking is driven by a huge uh, multinational corporations, the tobacco industry, and we need to make sure that their interests don't outweigh those of public health and population health in the country. And then finally, we'll also be looking at the session um, at international comparisons. So what can we learn from other countries and how does the UK compare in terms of the policies and interventions that it's got in place to reduce smoking, both today and in the future?